the put on this motion, Mr. Speaker. Uh, first of all, Mr. Speaker, let me thank the mover of the motion, who is my neighbor, Honorable Rogoni, and the seconder, who is also my neighbor, Honorable Halbert. Mr. Speaker, these, these are great people who are coming from CISO, so in Singapore, Mr. Speaker. And um, they are really, by working hard in this uh, motion, Mr. Speaker, it's because of marginalization. You have been being marginalized for a long time, and today you are standing our, our uh, unity to support uh, this motion. First of all, Mr. Speaker, misappropriation, misallocation, and illegal uh, drawing of the county finance and revenue, Mr. Speaker, which has been evidence by this uh, uh, motion, Mr. Speaker, is the great foundation of the Constitution, which has been tabled uh, very well by Honorable uh, Rogon, Mr. Speaker, whereby in the Public Finance and Management Act, it is very clear, as a presiding uh, administrator, which is the Governor, Mr. Speaker, he has actually refused deliberately and failed and neglected his duties, Mr. Speaker, by allowing the automation of the uh, system, Mr. Speaker, of which for our people, Mr. Speaker, we are not collecting anything. We are not getting any funds. Mr. Speaker, I have done my calculation here. Uh, when you less uh, 359 from 859, Mr. Speaker, you get uh, 500 from health. When you multiply um, 359, uh, you less 200 from the land, Mr. Speaker, that is from the multinational, you remain with 159. When you also do calculation, 159 divided by 12, Mr. Speaker. Every month, Mr. Speaker, we are co collecting around 10 million. This is pure lies, Mr. Speaker, in this county. There are so many funds which are being misappropriated by one individual, Mr. Speaker. I want to say the case in point. Uh, I come from uh, Kabul Arted. There is a Sondu market which has been left, has been neglected, Mr. Speaker. There is nothing going on there. And we have put around 120 a uh, million for the construction of a market. The market, Mr. Speaker, is now hidden. There's nothing in it. It has never been completed because of uh, misappropriation of this fund, Mr. Speaker. So I stand and say that, Mr. Speaker, we are doing badly in this county, Mr. Speaker, not because of anything, anybody else, because of the chief, county chief of Mr. Uh, governor, Mr. Speaker. He is not doing his role, Mr. Speaker by not presiding a very good administration which was given. We remember, Mr. Speaker, when the President took over, he introduced an e-citizen in 100 days, Mr. Speaker, whereby all the monies, all the collection are channeled to one account, Mr. Speaker, which is called e-citizen. Why are we failing in this county? Advertisement was done, evaluation was done, and the awarding was done. It was done last year, Mr. Speaker. There is nothing going on. The person who was awarded, Mr. Speaker, because he was not able to give out something, Mr. Speaker, he was denied. And we want to request the PPRA to take over the matter immediately, Mr. Speaker, in terms of revenue uh, system. Mr. Speaker, uh, number two, Mr. Speaker, the issue of financial rules. Presiding administration, which has actually disregarded the financial rule, which was prepared and approved in this house, Mr. Speaker, in 2019. That means, Mr. Speaker, the person who is heading this county is not looking at the issues which is being passed by this uh, Honorable House, Mr. Speaker. I want to believe that, Mr. Speaker, when a child is born, and when you observe for three to nine months, Mr. Speaker, when you check on the standard growth, there is what is called standard growth. When you observe, there is no growth at all. You have to take that child for specialized medication. That is what you are doing right now, Mr. Speaker. You are putting in a specialized medication to this county, for this county to survive, Mr. Speaker. For our people who, who we represent to get jobs, for our people, Mr. Speaker, to get water, for our people, Mr. Speaker, we know the NCs are just working around, Mr. Speaker. They are looking for opportunities to be employed. But, Mr. Speaker, in our county, they are being told there is no job. Yet, one person, two people are hitting our money, Mr. Speaker. That is wrong, and we want to make this thing right, Mr. Speaker. Uh, lastly, Mr. Speaker, because I don't want to take much time, there is the issue of misappropriation of public raised funds, which was overseen by 
the governor, Mr. Speaker, for the Londiani victim, I am one of the member who sat in the handle committee as a vice chair, Mr. Speaker. Okay. Mr. Speaker, we found out that the fund which were collected was not given to the right people, the victim, Mr. Speaker. The national government gave theirs within a one week time. But Mr. Speaker, the county government took over two weeks to be able to give out the fundraiser money. That is wrong, Mr. Speaker. And I want to say that justice must be done to this county, Mr. Speaker, and for this county to thrive. Governor Masco. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, okay, thank you, Honorable Eric B. The Honorable Fancy Corridor.